What's up? <laughs> you know who I look like right now? I look like the kombucha girl. I look like the kombucha girl right now. Put my hood on. Do we have a verdict? My bangs out or whatever. What if I had bangs? If I just had like bangs like that. <laughs> I feel so pretty. What up, everyone? How's it going? No, I didn't like that. Let's do it again. Back traces. <laughs> what's up everyone my name is kaylee welcome back to my youtube channel so for this week's video i'm going to tell you a story on how i ended up going to a music festival that i wasn't planning on going to and here's how it happened so there's this music festival that happens once a year that i've attended to for the past couple of years on and off called music midtown and because last year i vlogged the whole thing you can go check it out i'll put a card up there <laughs> right there the card the card can go wherever like whatever the card editing me move my hand so I decided this year that I was gonna go again. I wanted to make another fun video because you guys seemed to like it last year. And I wanted to see, okay, this is, I know, I know this is gonna, I applied for a press pass. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically credentials um, that allow you special privilege into the festival that are given out to bloggers, journalists, social media people to cover the event for whoever they work for. So in this case, I would be getting a press pass because I work for myself for a YouTube video, which sounds like, look in hindsight i should have never it sounds like stu it sounds dumb i'm sounds dumb i'm a dumb i'm a dumb fucking bitch um for thinking that that was something i needed anyways so i applied for this press pass i forgot to also mention the main reason why i wanted this press pass was because it was it was free love and love who doesn't love free stuff me i love free stuff uh, free things are my kink. <laughs> Back in May, I filled out this really long, lengthy press application. <coughs> God damn. I told them all about my Music Midtown video from last year, the views it got, my YouTube channel, how many views I get, how I cover the festival, my social media. I gave them the whole thing, gave them the whole lowdown. Uh, pulled out all the motherfucking stops. Reporting for duty. Journalists be like, can report on the music. Applied, told them what I was about in hopes that I would get this press pass. And then there was absolutely nothing I could do until September 6th, which was May, June, July. August. Like a solid five months away. So I just kind of threw it behind me thinking if I don't get this press pass, it won't be the end of the motherfucking world. Four long months of me waiting to see if they've granted me such a prestigious type of music festival entry and bitch. I got an email back on September 4th. I just realized I was holding the microphone um, sideways and not front ways. So that's why shit don't be sounded right. So I finally got an email back about my press application status. And of course, to our motherfucking surprise, I had been denied credentials, which basically means I wasn't going because I had, I had not bought a ticket. I was also made very well aware that I ain't shit and it humbled me quite a bit, I won't lie. I really ain't shit these days. Kaylee Shabib, haven't heard that name in a fucking minute. Waffle, do you know who Kaylee is? The festival was like that week, the 14th and the 15th. I had a moment to digest what was happening and I kind of accepted it. However, all my friends and roommates were already going. Uh, <laughs> besides Courtney, Courtney and I weren't going. On top of all that, the house that I moved to, you guys know I moved to a new house, is in walking distance to the festival. So there was no way on this earth unless I was like hiking it out of there, how I, I wouldn't be around it. You can hear it from the house. You can see people walking to it through the neighborhood. So FOMO hit me motherfucking hard. And on top of that, we had four people staying with us that weekend that were also in attendance to the festival. So we had a uh, four on top of the three roommates, four, five, seven, seven. Seven people. So yeah, I just watched everyone get ready for the festival. I even did some friends makeups, which honestly I was just like, I was just, it just wasn't good makeup. I'm so sorry. Actually, it was fine makeup. It was fine. So on Saturday, the day of the festival, Courtney came over. We had a little key key. We sat our bum asses down with some fast food, ate it, you know, stared at each other all night while we listened to a muffled Cardi B serenading us from a few blocks away. Um, depression, depression hit. So then Courtney goes home that night. I go to bed. So then Sunday comes. Basically, Sunday morning was when I started to feel kind of shitty. I honestly was kind of sad. Sadness hit. 
hard. There was really no one around Sunday morning. No, I'm sorry, Saturday. I say Saturday, I meant Sunday. Sunday. Who knows? I don't know what's going on. So Sunday morning, everyone was either at breakfast before the festival or still sleeping. So I decided to make some breakfast tacos with some sweet potatoes, onions, eggs. It was good. Cheese. Mild. Mild cheddar. Mild cheddar cheese. So this is when things start to go kind of good so my friend azure you guys know azure i've talked about her on the channel before she group facetimes me with courtney which never happens whilst i'm eating my taco i answer and she tells me that her boyfriend's cousin has two tickets to the festival for that day two wristbands they're willing to give away for 75 dollars each i start to become frantic pacing around the house trying to find 75 dollars courtney wasn't responding right away everything was a mess i was sweating i finally got in contact with a woman that was selling the wristbands so we decided to meet at a location that was close to me like in the middle meet in the middle as she was in route i was like ready to give her this money another endeavor hit me hit me right there in the noggin one of my roommate's best friends who attended the music festival the day before told my roommate that she was not going to be in attendance to the sunday festivities and she was willing to give me her wristband free, free of, of charge, charge. Um, I was like, let me like tell this poor girl who was in route already to hand me this wristband. I'm like, hey, another thing came up. I'm actually going for free now. Like, I'm so sorry. And she was so nice about it. She was like, no, it's okay. It's fine. It happens. I'll just give my wristbands to like my little cousins. I'm like, girl. I'm like, let me Venmo you for your time. She's like, no, don't worry about it. I'm like, please, can I have your Venmo? I just want to Venmo you like $5 for like the gas that you like, you know, like had to to use coming two miles or whatever how many miles and she was like no don't worry about it i said Bitch, if you're fucking getting your name she ended up being so nice and then so i tell this girl who's giving me the wristband for free i'm like is there anything i can give you like can i give you something can i give you money and she's like no don't worry about it i'm like literally why are people refusing my, my money? money so my roommate and i mosey on over to this girl's crib to pick up the wristband she lived in a really cute jewish house she's like this really like adorable jewish family like shabbat shalom it was so cute and then i got the wristband we were good to go so at this point everyone that was going to the festival that i knew had already gone i went like really late like two two three two, three, four, five. I don't really know what time it was. I was so frantic still. You know, we come back to the crib. I go head on over to the festival. I walk over there. So I'm walking to the festival. Don't really know where anybody is. <laughs> I might be alone because my roommate and all of our other friends went already. I'm gonna just go. I'm just go with it, go with the flow. Once I enter the park and see my friends, all is right in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you guys, I felt like a crusty, dusty, busty, mo musty mess. I didn't even brush my teeth that morning, <gasps> but it doesn't matter because God is good. Because the vibes are good and the people are good. Bitch. Hallelujah. We were all sitting down listening to music on a picnic blanket. When I look over at my friend Jess, that one starts drawing me. I get so excited because I had no idea she was an artist. And I look over and she truly made me a mess. Bros being dudes. And then there was one point when I was alone and the vibes were just so good. I just like felt comfortable being alone and I, that never happens to me, but lately it has been. And I'm just so proud of myself for like going out of my comfort zone, not having to rely on people. And it was just, it was great. Also, when I was alone, I tried to do that thing where like I recorded myself like meditating or whatever. And then I got like super embarrassed and I had to stop. It was really tragic. <laughs> also, can we talk about this man with the beret on looking like Ricky Thompson? So I'm looking back over this footage and I'm realizing how disgusting I look and the food looks. <laughs> I thought it looked actually appetizing, but it doesn't. Also, we were sitting right by the trash, which I thought was super appropriate. Also, I saw this girl like running around picking up trash. That was so cool. Like a festival goer. How awesome. Also, we saw these guys being chased by the police and I guess one of them got caught. So like, fuck 12. I don't know. The couple in front of us was like really feeling some type of way. <laughs> Also, while we were listening to Vampire Weekend, I looked down and I see something kind of shiny and it's literally someone's titty. Like a little plastic booby thing that you put like in your shirt when you don't want to wear a bra. And alas, our time at Music Midtown comes to an end. Miss Jenny snapped with this one. <coughs> My fat is in the way. I can't see the camera. Hey guys, this is a taste test. Taste test. 
That's good.